Good day. My name is Clayton Williams. I am the Sport and Training Director, Special Olympics Trainer and Tobago, and also Head Coach Flowball. Today I am with some athletes from Special Olympics Trainer and Tobago, and we are here playing the game of Flowball. Flowball is a game that was started in Sweden in the late 1960s and has grown tremendous leaps and bounds over the years. It has been introduced to the Special Olympics at the last Winter Games and now Trinidad and Tobago has had the opportunity to start the game. It is played in a rink and what is a rink? It's an area defined by sideboards. So the size of the smallest size would be 20 by 18 meters and the largest size will be 24 by 12. All right, it is played with sticks, something similar to hockey stick, but it looks a little different. This is what a floorball stick looks like. The shaft is dependent on the height of the player. From the floor to the top of the waist is, would be an appropriate stick for your height. The blade is made of plastic and it is flexed and it can bend so as to cushion the ball based on the athlete's preference. The ball is made out of plastic. It is 22 millimeters and has 16 holes in it. All right, the objective of this game is to control the ball, something similar to ice hockey and score. Because of the rink and the position of the goal, the ball seldom goes out of play. The only time the ball goes out of play is if it is played above the height of the ring. Again, welcome again. Today I have with me two athletes, Melissa Nanan on my left and Tamika Campbell on my right. We will introduce the grip and the grip is preferably known as the way to hold the stick. We ask the athlete to pick the stick up and usually they would pick the stick up with the dominant hand. So the dominant hand will go to the top of the stick and the non-dominant hand to the bottom of the stick. Pick up your sticks. So you notice they pick up with the dominant hand. The non-dominant hand is now placed on that little black mark down to the bottom. Knee slightly bent in a position to receive. And I'm going to pass. And that, in a nutshell, is passing. Now we have and two types of pass. We have just done one of them, which is the push pass. And then there's the hit pass. For a further distance, you will hear a difference in the sound or the contact with the stick. All right, so let me try a, a, a hit pass. Hi, my name is Ferdinand Bibi, and I am the National Director of Special Olympics Trinidad and Tobago. Special Olympics Trinidad and Tobago was founded in 1982 and incorporated by an Act of Parliament, Act 13 of 1991. Special Olympics provides year-round training and athletic competition for young athletes as well as adults with intellectual disabilities. The major achievements and accomplishments of Special Olympics over the years has been, I would say, the ability to grow because we would have started off with four athletes in one sporting discipline and we have grown to service over 1,200 athletes and we provide opportunities in 12 different sporting disciplines today. Another accomplishment has been the ability to provide national games for the past 37 years consecutive to our athletes, which has led to their development. We have also been able to participate at 
World Special Olympic Games from 1983, when we sent our first team with four athletes to 2019, when we sent a team of 34 athletes, and they would have brought home 57 medals from their exploits at those games. Special Olympics has always catered for the inclusion of women. Probably because of our mandate of providing activities for persons who were discriminated to in the first place, we have always had the philosophy that women and girls should be included in all aspects of our activities. Actually, Special Olympics was founded by a female, Miss Audrey Clark, in 1982 and has been served with national directors on three occasions by females. Our, our coaches in every discipline are male and female, so there is a balance of gender in our activities. Special Olympics has always provided an opportunity for women and girls. It is our philosophy that our program and all our representative teams should reflect the actual composition of our members. So there has always been an effort to mix 50-50 between male and female athletes whenever we are sending out a contingent so that there are some sports, for example, volleyball, that caters strictly for female when we travel because that is the match, the aspect of the football team, which is predominantly males. So we have always tried to include women and girls as athletes, as coaches, as well as board members and administrators. I think the Pinkerian campaign is a great initiative because it will allow for a greater inclusion of women and girls in sports throughout Trinidad and Tobago. The major goal of the organization for the next five years is securing uh, accommodation for our general operating space. We have started that process through the cooperation of the Ministry of Sports and the sport company and we are working towards finalizing that, that process. Our next goal would be to increase our ability to provide sporting opportunities to our athletes in the various communities. Access to sports and training is crucial to persons with intellectual disabilities who are susceptible to lifestyle, lifestyle diseases. So it's important that they have opportunities to play and recreate and also learn sports in their communities. My name is Ferdinand Bibi. I am the National Director of Special Olympics Trinidad and Tobago and I choose the challenge.